The Sermons of the Humble Care of Ours, St. John Vianney, titled, It is Necessary to be Converted. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. No, my dear brethren, let us never forget that in order to receive Holy Communion, it is necessary to be converted and strong in a true resolution to persevere. When Jesus Christ desired to give his adorable body and his precious blood to his apostles, in order to teach them how pure one should be before receiving it, he even went so far as to wash their feet. By that he wishes to show us that we can never be purified enough of our sins, even our venial sins. It is true that venial sins do not make our communions unworthy, but it is a cause of our profiting hardly at all by such a great blessing and happiness. The proof of that is clear to you when you consider how many times we have received Holy Communion during the course of our lives. And have we become any better? No, not at all. And the real cause of this is that practically all the time we are holding on to bad habits. We do not break ourselves of any one of them more than the other. We have a horror of the big sins which kill our souls. But all those little fits of impatience, those grumblings when some worries or troubles befall us, or some disappointments or setbacks, these mean nothing to us. You will admit that in spite of so many confessions and holy communions, you are always the same, that your confessions are nothing else, nor have they been for years, than a repetition of the same sins which, although venial, are nonetheless damaging to your merits of holy communion. You have been heard to say with good reason, that you are no better one day than the other, but who is stopping you from correcting your faults? If you are always the same, it is simply because you do not want to make even the small efforts to improve yourself. You do not want to endure anything or to be opposed in anything. You like everyone to be fond of you and have a good opinion of you, which is a difficult enough thing. Let us try hard, my dear brethren, to destroy all that could be in the smallest way displeasing to Jesus Christ, and we shall see how our communions will help us to make great strides towards heaven. And the more we do this, the more we shall feel ourselves becoming detached from sin and inclining towards God. This is what I desire for you. St. John Vianney, pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.